Okay, we're going to go ahead and assemble this pressure sensor connector. This is a three-way Delphi GT150 connector, and this is used on most aftermarket pressure transducers, pressure sensors that you'll see um, on EFI systems. Typical three-wire sensor uh, comprised of the terminals, seals, and then the connector, and oftentimes it's used with a 90-degree boot or a piece of heat shrink. This connector has a built-in boot adapter. You can see the lip there. That allows you to slide a, a boot or even a piece of heat shrink and have it uh, give it something to grab a hold of. Uh, it has a little cage here on the, on the end of the connector, and that's actually what locks in the terminals when you slide them in. There are some other ones out there on the market that are different that don't have the, the boot adapter or the cage. Um, Obviously, the, the first one we showed was preferred, but these are also out there and assemble in a similar fashion. To start the assembly, you're going to make sure you slide any boot or heat shrink over the wires before you start to crimp the terminals onto the end of the wire. Make sure you get anything that you need, need to slid on there, and then you can begin to uh, place the seals onto the wire and strip the wire for, uh, to crimp the terminal. Let's go ahead and start the crimping process. This is a piece of 20 gauge TXL wire. You could use Tefzel, you could use 22 gauge. Either way, you're gonna start by putting the yellow seal onto the wire and slide it back a ways because we're gonna strip some wire for the terminal to be crimped on. The terminal has actually got two crimp locations, like a primary and a secondary. Here's the terminal. You're gonna lay the conductors inside the wire inside that first one you can see that there's two spots to crimp the wire the first one is the primary and it is simply to actually connect the wires to the terminal just like so and then the secondary crimp is just to simply has like a little strain relief as a way to hold the seal in place so we'll go ahead and we'll crimp that as well. It's kind of the, I call those like the W-shaped uh, type crimpers. And that crimps the, crimps both of them. Same crimper, crimps both of them. Very simple, very typical to what you use in many other um, connectors. So at that point, we should be all crimped up and ready to put it into the connector. Okay, so here is this, this gray part, I call it the cage. It's the, the unit that locks the retainers in. This can be in a full compressed state or about halfway. Generally, you'll just leave it at the halfway mark and insert your, your terminals and then push it down to lock them. This is in the locked position. Um, you'll notice that this has an extra, there's actually two that go vertical and one that goes horizontal, but you'll see an extra location right here. You can slide this down in here to remove Remove that completely. You don't have to remove it, but there's a couple ways to do it. You can remove it the way I just showed, or there's a little hole that's right here that you can push in with like a paper clip and uh, remove it that way. So we'll go ahead and leave it in this position, um, or actually we can remove it so you can see things a little bit better. This has a few little clips in there that keep the, the terminal in place. So we can go ahead and show you that. Slide it in here. The, the open part, you can see the open portion is going to go to the open portion of the connector. And when you slide it in, you can see that little tab pushes up and it locks in. At that point, you can put all of them in. Then you can slide the cage back on. Oops. Lock it in place and the terminal won't go anywhere. So you do that all three times, and you can notice that seal, if you look in there, that seal, that yellow seal is in there, keeping any uh, water out of there, or anything that can cause corrosion. At that point, you can take your boot, and you just gotta slide it over that lip. So you just kinda inch it on. This We like this boot, it's very firm. It is a little bit more difficult to get on initially, but once you get it, it should snap right into place. You'll hear a little snap. There you go. Now it's on. We like this one versus some of the others on the market. They look more like this, kind of like a kind of like a gummy bear uh, versus 
this one, which is a little more firm. But it works out great either way. And um, you got yourself a good uh, seal connection. From there you can heat shrink this or whatever you decide to do. This has a lip on it too, so you can wrap your heat shrimp heat shrink around that um, keep everything tidy and sealed up if you choose uh, the other option is um, this is a four uh, four to one shrink ratio so high shrink ratio uh, atum and it's so it's like a glue line it's got the actual sticky in it you always give it the sticky test there and um, that works great it uh, it seals up as well you can also angle it a little bit this is what it looks like once You've put it on there. It wraps all the way around really good and seals all the way down. Even if you don't have anything else here, it seals all the way down onto three 20 gauge wires. Oftentimes you might have something else in there, but um, you can also kind of form this a little bit. When you heat it up to shrink it down, you can kind of angle it a little bit or you can put it at 90 or whatever. But uh, we have kind of both options there. Uh, we'll put links in the uh, description here. So take a look and let us know if you have any questions. If you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email, or check out the website. Also, check us out on these social media platforms. Like, share, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever it deserves. And thanks again for the support.